Welcome back to the Trevor Tysman Show. Will your shoulder pain never go away? I tell you, it comes and goes, comes and goes. I've got a nagging shoulder myself, and I have come up with a couple different things that can help, but the latest one that I wanted to review in this video has been extremely helpful to me, and it is adding in hanging consistently. You've got to be disciplined. you got to do it often, but hanging from a pull-up bar can really, really stretch the pec, the delts, anything involved in the shoulder. It's kind of... Um, you know, it's been a weird thing. I've been really testing this throughout the last six months to see how much that it can actually help. And it's kind of surprising the effects that it has, but I've had to do a lot of modifications and let me explain. Uh, clients that I've worked with before that have shoulder pain, oftentimes you'll do different types of lat pull downs and eventually you'll work up towards a pull up. Well, hanging requires quite a bit of strength and body control. There's no doubt about it. You have to be able to have the grip strength, not, not only the grip strength, but you have to have the core to be able to hang your bones like that. You'll feel everything get longer and longer. And if you're not quite strong enough, it's really an odd feeling. So I've got a couple tips on how you can build up to a true hang. And if you're strong enough, I'll give you some tips on how you can extend this and help your shoulder even more. So the first tip that I would give you is purchase some wrist straps. These are going to be lifting straps that are utilized to do power cleans, um, any kind of a heavyweight deadlifting. They're weightlifting straps. You get the ones that have the Velcro or you can do the strap method, but you need that string to where you can go above onto a squat rack. Now, when you come up to your pull-up squat rack, you're going to lace these babies up, right? Get your grip on there, and you want to make sure that it's nice and tight, but when you squeeze your hands down, you still want to use your grip strength. This should just be for assistance. It should help you along the way build longer times for the stretch. And what I mean by that is if you can do a pull-up and you hang on that, you'll find, and maybe it's just guys like me that have weak wrists and forearms and elbows that are a little finicky just because of all the baseball that I've played in my time. So oftentimes I get elbow issues and I can get tendonitis and things rather easily. So I use wrist straps often uh, during my training to kind of prevent any of these overuse injuries just because I've got so much damage over the years in my elbows and shoulders. And what I'll do is I'll use these wrist straps and it'll help assist my grip to where I can really get into that big stretch phase that comes in around 20 to 30 seconds. You'll feel the first time you get there and you start hanging that it's almost like your shoulder gets three inches longer by the time you're done stretching. But if you start, I would for sure, without a doubt, find a pull-up bar that you can keep your feet on the ground. And the reason I say this is because you can assist your body weight and not put all the pressure into your arms. If you're a heavier individual, this can really be too much for you to just hang on your arms. It almost goes past the point of a comfort stretch and it gets very jointy very fast. So if you get a pull-up bar in a position or like a, a suspension trainer, get it at a height to where your feet are still on the ground and squat down a little bit and put that load into your shoulders. Now that you've got a little bit of load into your shoulders, you wanna kinda of try to sit about 20 to 30 seconds. I oftentimes, the first set, I like to do just a nice short set to get everything moving. I'll stand back up slowly, let everything kinda of fall back into place. And then the next one, I'll try to lengthen it out a little bit farther and move into that 40 to 60 second range. And let me tell you, 60 seconds doesn't sound like that long, but when you're hanging there, your grip starts to fade, your body feels like it's as long as it ever could get. The more you let up on your legs and the more your actual hanging body starts to sit down, you'll find that you, you almost lengthen your spine so much that you'll need to stand up nice and slow and let it stack back up. If you get up real quick, it can feel a little weird. Sometimes I even feel it in my collarbone slightly. So I like to kind of unravel everything slowly. Stand up back into your bones. Let everything get back oriented. I don't do anything too awful crazy after the set until I get feeling normal again. And after you do this, it's almost like going to a chiropractor it feels like an awful lot of movement early. And then as you get going and you go for a week or two or three, your body kind of gets acclimated and is used to that movement. So that stage will probably fade as you do this more, but wrist straps and putting your feet on the ground is going to be a really big tip. 
Now, as you progress, another version of this would be as soon as you get your feet off the ground and you're able to statically hang, the next stage would be if you're not strong enough to do it just with your own body weight completely hanging, you can always use like a ballistic band or a loop style pull-up band that's available in your gym or you might have some at home. If you loop that over the pull-up bar, you can stick your knee or a lighter one. You can stretch it all the way down to your foot. Now, this is a little counterproductive. We're going to lose a little bit of the stretch phase just without the hanging weight. But if you use a light enough weight uh, resistance band, you'll be able to let it hang and you'll still get a lot more stretch in your shoulders, but not near as much in the spine and the lower back because that band is going to support you. So play with that a little bit. I use that as I first started and I've kind of progressed past that. So if you find that that's taken a step backwards, that that's kind of where I was too. So if you want to start with that, that's also a suggestion, just another format of how you can complete it by hooking it under your foot or your knee. It's going to lighten the load. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you put that band on, you're not going to be hanging with that 200 pounds. You'll be hanging with whatever size band you've chose. You'll take that off of there. So I think that that's another great technique that you can get into this, but I tell you, you will never find another stretch for your shoulder that somehow almost pulls all that impingement out of your shoulder. You can mess with your grips a little too. Uh, you know, just right around shoulder width is where I start. And then I'll even do one where my hands are pretty narrow and I'll extend these sets as I've gotten a little bit better. Two or three sets of almost 60 seconds is about where I'm at. And it's a little bit longer than you think. But I would suggest you start small. Start with 20, 30 second sets. If you're using the wrist straps, don't forget to squeeze your grip. You don't want to be lazy and just hang and let it pull your wrist apart. Still use your grip. You want to strengthen that as well, but let that body lengthen out and you'll feel the tension as you hang. So the first time you ever do this, when you get up on the pull-up bar, squeeze your hand and let your body kind of drop. And what you'll find is your body really wants to hold on. It will not relax. And at that point, focus on breathing deeply, breathe out. And as you exhale, let everything get a little bit longer. You're going to feel your shoulders almost you know, lengthen way more than you've ever felt. And then there's another one about five or eight seconds later, as you're doing these deep breaths where so much tension leaves your body. And, um, I would say, you know, like I said, you have to be disciplined and you need to work this into your routines often. If you have shoulder pain, I've been doing this about three or four times a week now. And when I started, I may do this once a week. I might do it every other week. If it's real tight, I'll do it. But since I have start got since I have become more consistent with it, three times a week, two, three times a week, always making sure I get these long sets in, really getting good and stretched out. I mean to tell you the shoulder is feeling better than ever. And I mean, you know, just like anything else, I'm sure it'll change over time, but highly recommend getting this hang method into your daily or weekly routines so that you can start lengthening that muscle. As always, this is Trevor Tysman show. I've been making some podcasts now for a couple weeks, probably going to keep doing it. I really appreciate the support. If you would like and subscribe to the channel so you can see any of the latest updates, I'm going to keep these going as often as I can. And um, as always, if you need any items like the ballistic bands I mentioned in the video, head to kmanstraining.com. That's my uh, company. We sell all kinds of great resistance training equipment. Have a great day, guys.